I have here a John Deere D170 ride on lawnmower and the hole here that is supposed to have a bolt going through it to hold this plastic cover on the pulley uh, is stripped out and it's only held on by the one bolt over there. So I'm going to try to fix it by drilling it out and using a tap to re-thread it and putting a larger bolt in. So the first step is going to be to remove this bolt over here and take the cover off altogether. So we just use a socket set and it takes a while to get that bolt out. So the idea here is that I bought a bolt that is just one size up. I believe it's a 3 8 inch bolt that's just one size up from the original and then I bought a 3 8 size tap to re-thread it, but you have to drill it with one size smaller. So they told me at the hardware store to use a 5 16 drill, which was confirmed by the information on the tap itself. So we use a, a 5 16 drill and a 3 8 tap so that there's room to cut the threads. This metal is fairly thin, so hopefully it won't take that long to cut the threads. We will see. So I've got the drill bit in the drill, and we go right on top of the existing hole. It should go through really quickly. That was really quick. And now we're ready to do the tap part. They recommended at the hardware store that I get this T driver uh, so you can really bear straight down on it as you're using this tapper to cut the threads in the metal. So we're putting the tapper into the tool, tightening it up, that should be ready to go. The other thing they recommended was to put a little bit of oil on the threads of the tapper to help lubricate it as you drive it, and a little bit in the hole too. So there we go. So now we center ourselves over the hole, straight down, try to keep it straight, and pushing down, turning, Trying to keep it straight as you go. Trying to stay steady. Now it's gotten easier, and I'm assuming the reason it's gotten easier is because I'm done. So I'm gonna back it out. And then I'm going to grab the screw with a bolt here and see if it works. And sure enough, just as advertised, it works. So the next thing is to put the cover back on with our freshly cut and retapped hole. So I put the cover back on and it looks like it takes a um, 13 30 second for the original bolt tighten that up and then it looks like the newer bolt requires a 9 16 socket to tighten that so and of course you want to be sure that you don't over tighten it and strip it out again doesn't need to be all that tight these covers need to be removed periodically, like once a year, because there's a grease fitting on that pulley right under there. So I believe this technique can be used for any kind of equipment, any kind of metal. This was essentially uh, very easy because the metal here was very thin. But you know, if it's something more complicated, you might want to check other YouTube channels or ask the guy at the hardware store what he thinks. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please like the video. Thanks so much.